back with another copper hoarding adventure. <laughs> uh, picked up my pennies yesterday with my two boxes of halves. And I just went through, uh, first of all, to make sure they weren't all 2023s. And to see if there's any, uh, you know, wheat penny enders or whatnot. And there wasn't. But I did get another bonus penny when I poured them all out. I had an extra penny there. That's always nice to get a bonus. <laughs> it reminded me of back in the day. When you would buy your laundry detergent and they would come with a, a tumbler, a drinking glass. And that was how they would try to develop brand loyalty so that people would buy their brand and get a whole set of tumblers or glasses, whatever. Anyway, I will uh, get started right away. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the future price of copper. I was reading an article about that. Anyway, let's get them started. This is the first roll I've opened, and already I find my first wheat penny, which is always fun to find. As uh, most of you, if you watch me, know that my my goal uh, each box is to find is to hopes to find three pounds of copper per box plus ten wheat pennies, and obviously the Canadians and any other foreign things that I find just make it more fun for the hobby. But this is a 1946 Philadelphia. I'm, uh, I believe, 38 pounds in so far for this year, which is, I think, pretty good on track. Uh, we're just in the middle of February. So we'll see if this box will get me three more pounds or not. I hope so. Oh, 2009. Pretty good copper in that row. Second row, I find my first Canadian in 1979. Remember, these are 98% copper. I do keep them separate from my other copper coins. I just, I, in fact, I break the uh, Canadian copper ones up in three different piles because of the different weights. Just, it's a thing that I do. They're all 98% copper all the way from 53 up to 96. If you want to throw all those together, you can do that. They're 98% copper before 53 too, but those are your King George and whatnot, and uh, I, I, I think those are collectible. You should keep those separate from your copper hoard. Hey, look. Somebody was beating on this penny with a very, very small ball-peen hammer. <laughs> I found two of the 2009s now. This first one here, this is the third one they came out with. This is his professional life. He's standing in front of the Capitol in Illinois. And this one is the fourth one. This is his, uh, basically his presidency. And they're showing the almost finished, um, oops, sorry, Capitol Dome there in Washington, D.C. And uh, I was talking with a fellow a while back, and uh, he said I should save my 2017 peas. So I'm saving a few, but I've decided, since I was finding so many, just to save the nicer ones. If they've been beat up and stuff, I'm not going to save them. I saw this little line right there, so I thought I'd just look at it under the microscope, and here's what I found. Also, that right there. What do you think is going on with that D? It's funny, you just never know how it's going to go. In the first roll I opened, I found wheat penny number one. This is my 20th roll, and I found wheat penny number two. You know, I thought, hey, maybe this will be one of those boxes where I get a whole bunch of them. Fifty-six. Okay. So I was reading an article. I read a lot of articles looking up copper and just what's in the news. And that sort of thing. And uh, the article said that Citibank thinks that copper is going to hit $15,000 a ton in the year 2025, which is just next year. And that is 40% higher than the highest 
that it's ever been, and that was in March of last year, 2023. It was a uh, 10,700, something like that. That will put the price of copper at $7.50 a pound. Copper. And if you figure that up, that would put copper 82. That put pennies, cents, at five cents each. Five X their face value. That's pretty good. So if you're not hoarding copper yet, would that be enough to get you started? Or should you start now? Five times the face value. That's that's really pretty decent, I'm telling you. You could easily sell it for a profit. People are selling it for a profit now. It would be really easy to do it then and even not even have to ask the full price. 23rd roll, still in the first half. And here is a 1940. Wheat penny number three. I think I'm pretty doggone close to the being in line for the three pounds. Well, the very next row, I do find wheat penny number four. Oh, another S, 52S. Those are fun to find. So, <clears throat> if these U.S. cents or pennies go to five cents each in value, copper value, in 2025, my goal, of course, by the end of 2024 is to have 500 pounds, and that would make my face value to be around $725, but the copper value would then be well over $3,600. That's a substantial difference. That'd be a nice little savings there. Eighty-three. Zinc. Here's my second Canadian copper. It's a 1984, the 12-sided type. Here's a 1982 copper penny under a microscope. Boom, boom, and all of a sudden here I am at number five. Just a handful of rolls. 57D. That 83 is zinc. I am now in the second half, and I got to the end of this row, and I came to this. It's like, what is that? But I, I it's a wheat penny. It's a wheat penny. I don't know. It may be old. Let's turn it over and see. That is really worn. It's... Here's another wheat penny. Uh, 
and you can see where it says synth there, United States, and the, the wheat. It's not that old, 1948. The front's worn, but it's certainly nothing like the back. Somebody must have just had this in the pocket and rubbed on the back of that coin for a year or two or 50. Oh well, that's number six, I believe. And an 82. I just opened this roll and looky there. <laughs> we got our dime. Come on. <clears throat> I just love finding dimes in these rolls of pennies. In that same roll that had the dime, I also had another Canadian copper in 1960. I've got about 12 rolls to go, and here is wheat penny number 7. 48. All of them today so far have been the 40s and 50s. Let's say you wanted to just, you know, things are tight. You say, I'm just going to save an extra $10 a month. You put that away, you know, $120 a year. How long do you think it'd be before that $120 doubled in value? Quite a long time. I don't know what savings plans you can find that's good, but there's not very many good ones out there. <clears throat> what if you hoarded pennies? They're already worth two and a half times their face value when you find them. And let's say they do go up like they say they're going to in 2025. Now you've got five times your money. Pretty nice little savings plan if you ask me. A little bit of time you know it's it's a hobby it's saving it's learning when you read about the coins and stuff learn a little bit about american history that's the zinc that's weird looking Is that like just gum or something there it is oh it's just something stuck to it i guess i'm gonna look a little closer at that one I've tried to stick my fingernail under it to pull it off, but it, it doesn't feel like I can, so I would take a little closer look at it. There's a 17P. Two point five. It's petrified gum or something. It's flaking off, but it's hard to get off. Well, we got eight rolls to go. <clears throat> and here's Weed Penny number eight. 52D. Haven't gotten any of the really old ones in a while. A couple months ago, I got a couple that were 100 years old. Haven't seen that in a while. I got one. One or two in the 30s recently, but that's the oldest I've seen in a while. That 83 is a zinc. Hey, there's another wheat penny. I have three of the four 2009 designs. It'd be kind of fun. Look at that. Is that fingerprints? That is really cool. How does that happen? That... Huh. It's another 52D, but it's in really good shape. I looked up fingerprints on coins before, but I never really came up with anything. Is it just... I've tried to wipe them off, and I wasn't able to. Just curious if that's all it was. But I don't know. Another 83. Oh, it'd be so cool if one day I found one.
I thought I found a penny on a nickel planchet, which one person wrote an article saying that's impossible, but one ha one has been found, and it sold for two hundred thousand dollars. <throat> Mine was just a, f I guess, flattened, damaged penny. It was so much wider than a regular penny, and it had an odd color to it. Here it is, right here. See how much wider it is? When I first saw that, I thought, that's a nickel planchet, but it's not. See, look at how it's been smashed. It don't look that much thinner, but I guess it's enough to make the difference. So when you find coins off-center like this one, clearly off-center, do you keep them? I'm curious to hear your answers on that. I put a few away, but I, I do find quite a few of them. This one's really clearly off center. Five rolls to go, and here is Wheat Penny number nine. And man, these grapes I buy at the grocery store are really good. They pop. I like it when they pop. 1941. So, a few rolls back after I took all the uh, zincs and Throw them in the box and the copper in their box. When I got up the next row and I looked down, it's like, hey, where's my dime? So I finally found it in the zinc box. That was a close one. 2009. Oh, I was hoping it'd be the first one. This is the third one. That's all right. Every now and then I find them like this. It's really kept the color over the years. And you think, oh, that might be one to keep. But look, there's no definition left hardly at all in the beard. It's all worn down. So it's really not... It's it's pretty good shape, but it's not great. You see what I mean? How it's worn on the beard. So that'll go in my um, copper hoarding box. Here is my fourth Canadian penny, 1966. Got pretty good copper that row. I just finished my last row. Do you like how my penny box wall is coming along? <laughs> One of these days, I'll get to the very top. I didn't get the 10 weeds. I just got nine. And they're all from the 40s and 50s. Four Canadians. Three there. And then one there. Uh, oops. Oh, goodness. That's all my 17 peas. There's my dime. What is that? Oh, yeah. That's the uh, off-center. And then my 2009s. I think I got about five of them. I'll weigh the 82s, see how much I got for today. I think I'm over three pounds. Pretty tickled about that, but we'll find out. Yes, sir, Bob, I got three pounds and three ounces in and out of that box. Put it with my copper for the year, and I am over 41 pounds, about 41 pounds, 12 ounces. So if, I'm, if my next box is several ounces over my three pounds, then I'll have 45 pounds. Pretty cool. Well, that's it for uh, this week. And uh, we'll start back up next week. You guys have a good one.